Okay, what's up YouTube? It's Pacey AI one more time. I'm about to give you another video. Remember to leave a like, share, subscribe. And this one is a really exciting one. I mean, this is incredible. I want to talk to you guys about this website called WebSim AI. Now, this website is based on the Claude Sonnet 3.5 architecture. This website been out for a while, but it wasn't, it didn't get any popularity until Claude Sonnet 3.5 came out, which was very recently. But we do know about the artifacts feature. And I did talk about Claude Sonnet 3.5 and its artifacts feature, so you guys could check that video out. But essentially, the artifacts feature is what makes this website so incredible because what it uh, what it's doing is leveraging that artifacts feature that artifacts framework within claude and it is using it to build appli web applications as well as websites now there are some examples of stuff that people have worked on and this one is pretty interesting the 3d roller coaster and what you can do right here is that you can change the sky, you can generate a new track, you can change a track around, and then you can begin ride. And that's what it is. It's simulating a roller coaster in first person, which is really, really, really cool. And yeah, I mean, this is this is this is what that is. You can go back home. And there's a couple other things that you guys can definitely try. I want to show you guys there's some 3D object modeling. There's a whole bunch of stuff that people are doing. I mean, there's a piano website that you can actually play the piano and stuff. It's pretty insane. But what I want to talk to you guys about is some is an idea that I've been working on, and I think it would be pretty cool for you guys to see. And I want to show you how you can do this yourself. So let's say I want to create a website, a YouTube video sharing website, a website just like YouTube. So all I have to do is say, create me a video sharing website just like YouTube. You know what? I'm just going to say sharing website just like YouTube. And I'm going to build off of that. I don't even want to make it too complicated. I'm just gonna say a video sharing website just like YouTube, and I'm gonna build on top of that. So this is what it's doing, it's creating me this website. The name of it is VidShare, and then you have recommended videos, you have your sidebar, your uh, well, homepage, trending, subscription, library. You can, you can upload videos over here, and you have recommended videos, stuff like that. Uh, now you can actually use a search. I'm guessing it won't necessarily work, but let's try to see if we can search something. Okay, so it actually does work that you can use a search query to search a video. So now it's creating the search page. Now, so let me just tell you what this is doing. What it's essentially doing is creating the website for you. Every single time you make a request, every single time you generate, so that initial prompt that I used to generate the site, it is creating the site for me. And if I wanna download this site, I can go here and click download website. Now this website does not actually exist on the internet. It only exists within the WebSim ecosystem. There's no way to access this actual link on the internet. So if you wanna create this website, on the actual internet, you're going to have to download, just like what I showed you, click this, download the website, put it on the root directory of the website that you want. So you gotta put it on that root directory and obviously, I, if you guys don't know how to do that, that's gonna be something you're gonna have to research, but there's some DNS configurations and things like that that you have to do with your domain, you purchase your domain, blah, blah, blah. You put your uh, you put your files in the different root directories and stuff like that, and then you can generate your website from that. But it gives you the files to the website. That's what it does. So every time you generate the page, you can generate the file. So that's, I just generated the, the search uh, query page. So this is a query page right here. So if I wanted to search, um, if I wanted to search, uh, 
Mario, Super Mario gameplay, Super Mario gameplay, right? So as you can see, what it's doing is make, it, it changes the URL to make that uh, API request or that get request within the browser. And now what it's going to be doing is gonna be generating me the HTML for that. So see at the top, we have search results for Super Mario gameplay and then we have some now these are ai generated thumbnails by the way i didn't i didn't state that but these are just some ai generated thumbnails these don't actually lead to anywhere this is just the framework the layout but as you go go through and you click the different pages it will generate new html that you can then save to use for your actual website so i can save this html and if i go to playlists it will then well, I guess the playlist page is not clickable, right? It's not, it doesn't, it doesn't have any functionality, but let's, let's go to something that does have some functionality. So let's go to trending. If I want to create the playlist, I can do that. And I'm going to kind of show you exactly how you would do that. If you want to create other pages that don't necessarily have functionality with the buttons, you can, you can still do that. It's the, the functionality is there and there's, you can also prompt it to do certain things as well to add certain things to the pages as well so this is a trending page uh this is you know the library page you know the library page right there and and if you guys notice how quickly this is generated it's very fast it doesn't take a long time this is happening really really quickly and this is leveraging the capabilities of uh, Cloud Sign at 3.5 is everything is running in the background, the code and everything. This is running in the background to generate this for you. And this is pretty cool. Now, if I, let's say I search, right? Let's go back to, let's search this. What is, what is the multiverse? I was actually messing around with this. So, so we got, we got some playlists here. It's showing the playlists and it's showing the recently watched stuff like that. Okay. That's cool. That's a, let's go back to what is the multiverse. Let's search that, right? Let's do a search on what is the multiverse. And what I'm going to show you is based on what this generates, um, I'm going to show you how you can then go ahead and generate custom pages, right? So, so obviously the playlist um, function is not clickable, right? So what we could do if we want to generate a playlist page, right? Um, so we could just go to videoshare.com and then we could say, we could say this, right? Playlist. So we go to the top and we just search that, right? And then it will just create a playlist page. And then it will just go ahead and create a playlist page for you. All right, this is essentially, just saying, so it will just show you it will use the same, it will remember the same style and everything, and then it will just create your playlist. So this is your playlist right here, um, so on and so forth. So that's just crazy. And then if you wanna create a new playlist, it doesn't like to click on that, but if I, if I say, okay, playlist, create, create new playlist, I just search that and it's going to create that page for me. Um, so, I mean, this is really, really powerful, really, really powerful. And if I want to go ahead, you know, let, let's even do this. Let, let's even do this. So as you can see, you can create the new playlist, so on and so forth. Now, if I want to go ahead and create a login page, right? Let's create a, a login page. Let's do a login page. So I'm just going to do this. You just put it in the browser. That's it. And it will just create the login page for you. It will recognize the context of what you put in the, the browser and it will just go ahead and create that login page for you. So this is a login page, as y'all can see. And we even have some social media login. You can log in this Google, you can log in this Facebook. If I want to create a sign up page, I just click on that and you can create the sign up page. So I'm sure based on this little demo that I've showed you, you can go ahead and do some incredible stuff with this. 
and definitely guys you know that's it you could you know you say you can save your pages and stuff like that um so they even have the little um uh, the module for your date date of birth and stuff like that. that's pretty cool so if i go back home you know you can go through and check out some of these other things that people have worked on this is pretty amazing people are even working on pokemon games i, I don't even know what's going on it's just so much crazy stuff that you can do with this i mean this is the future of development whether it be web development whether it be game development application development whatever it is this is the future i'm sure this thing is going to get even crazier once we get to claw four claw five claw six forget about it it's going to be nuts what we're going to see here so let me know what you guys think have a great day pacey ai sign now remember to subscribe to my channel i'll be putting out more videos as we continue this AI journey, but let me know what you guys think. Have a great day. Peace, AI sign up. Peace.